Now let's start with some interesting tricks. So I will tell you the first trick how to find squares of different numbers. Okay. So as we are starting, I will start with a very easy one. We will try to find the squares of the numbers which are ending with 5. It means 25 square, 35 square, 45 square, 95 square. All the numbers which are ending with 5. It means whose unique digits are 5. Okay. Let's try this. Okay. So 25 square. It means 25 multiplied by 25. Right. 25 square. A square. It means what? If the number will be multiplied by itself. What is the answer? That is called the square of that number. So here 25 multiplied by 25. Listen carefully. Very important trick. Okay. So in the first step what we will do. We will multiply this unit digit with unit digit. We will multiply this unit digit with this unit digit. So here unit digit is 5. So we will multiply 5 with 5. And the answer we will get here is 25. That 25 we will write here fully. 5 into 5, 25. The answer we will write fully. Now let's come to the tenth digit. What is the tenth digit? Here the upper tenth digit is also 2 and the lower tenth digit also 2. Now what we need to do is we need to multiply the, this 2 with its successor. What do we mean by successor? Successor means, means the next digit of this digit. 2 successor is 3. So we will multiply 2 with 3 and the answer is 6. So we will write here 6. So 25 multiplied by 25 that is 625. Let's take another example. Suppose we are doing 35 multiplied by 35. Now you can tell very easily what will be the answer. First we will multiply unit with unit. So 5 multiplied by 5 that is 25 and tens digit is 3 and 3 successor is 4. 3 next digit is 4. So we will multiply 3 with 4 so that will be 12. So 35 multiplied by 35 that is 1225. Let's take two, three more examples. Suppose it is 45 square. So it is 45 multiplied by 45. Another number I'm taking here, 75 multiplied by 75. And the last one I'm taking here, 95 multiplied by 95. Now just think before I will give you the answers. Okay, the first answer will be 5 into 5, 25 and 4 into its successor, 4 fives are 20. Similarly here, 5 fives are 25 and 7 successor is 8. So 7 multiplied by 8, that is 56, right? And the last one, 5 multiplied by 5, this is 25. And 9, the successor of 9, the next digit of 9 is 10. So 9 multiplied by 10, that is 90. Hope all of you understood this particular concept. How to find the squares of the numbers ending with 5. Now this is about double digit numbers. Okay, let's learn if we will have triple digit number okay so let's take one number 125 multiplied by 125 okay because here there are three numbers we will solve in three steps the first step will be same we will multiply unit digit with unit digit so 5 multiplied by 5 that is 25 okay i am writing here steps so you can note down first step is 5 multiplied by 5 second step tens digit 
okay so what is the tenth digit here the tenth digit is two so we will multiply the tenth digit two with its successor two successor is three so second step will be two multiplied by three that is six so we got the second answer now a new step will come so this will be the third step in third step listen carefully because this is three digit number in third step what we will do is we will take these tens and hundred digit combinedly so tens and hundred digits means it is 12 and with this 12 we will add the successor of tens digit in second step we multiplied the successor of tens digit in third step we will add the successor of tens digit what is tens digit here 2 and what is the successor 2 successor is 3 so 12 add 3 so that is 15 so we got this answer 1 5 6 2 5 hope everyone understood let's do one two more examples on this let's take one more number suppose it is 145 multiplied by 145 as i told you first step we will multiply unit with unit so 5 into 5 25 okay now see the tens digit second step we will multiply the tens digit with its successor so tens digit is 4 and its successor is 5 so we will multiply 4 with 5 so we will get double digit answer 20 we will get double digit answer 20 so what we will do we will place only the unit 0 here and we will take this 2 as a carry over okay so we got the first part answer second part answer now let's go to the third part answer in third part as i told you before we need to use both tens and hundreds at a time so that is 14 and in this 14 you will add the successor of tens digit tens digit is 4 and the successor of 4 is 5 so you add 14 plus 5 that is 19 okay and shall we write 19 here no we have a carryover of 2 so we will add 2 here and the final answer here is 21 so if we find the square of 145 this is 21,025 I am doing one more example for you 175 multiplied by 175 now hope everyone understood this concept so first step is unit multiply with unit 5 multiplied by 5 25 second step is tens digit multiply with its next digit so 7 multiplied by 8 7 into 8 that is 56 so we will out of 56 we will put 6 here and we will take 5 as a carryover now in the third step we will take 17 and in 17 we will add the successor of tens digit 17 plus 8 that is 25 and we have a carryover of 5 so 25 and 5 that is 30 okay so in this trick we learn double digit and triple digit number squares where the unit digit is 5 